<sighs> oh boy, buckle up because we're gonna set the record straight on vitamin K, which is an injection that's not a vaccine but gets pulled into a lot of anti-vaccine debates. Yes, babies are born with low vitamin K, but not because it's some magical design feature, it's just basic biology. The placenta doesn't transfer vitamin K well during pregnancy. Newborn guts are still maturing, meaning they don't yet have the good bacteria that help make vitamin K naturally. And their livers are immature, still figuring out how to process and activate vitamin K efficiently. And breast milk, incredible for so many reasons, but it only has a tiny amount of vitamin K. Delayed cord clamping is awesome for boosting blood and iron stores, but it doesn't magically pump extra vitamin K into the baby's body. Vitamin K levels stay low, clamped or not. Also, kidneys play only a minor role in vitamin K excretion. The liver does the heavy lifting. Revelation of a generation losing civilization. I'm determined just to liberate us with our dedication for the, the vitamin K given to babies is phytonodione, vitamin K1, the exact form found in leafy greens like spinach and broccoli. Menodione or vitamin K3 was banned decades ago and is not what babies are given today. And a quick note on terms. You might hear some people call it hemorrhagic disease of the newborn or HDN. That's the older name. Today we use the term vitamin K deficiency bleeding or VKDB because it's more accurate. It's bleeding caused by a lack of vitamin K. The vitamin K shot contains vitamin K1. It also includes tiny amounts of safe preservatives like benzyl alcohol and propylene glycol to keep it sterile and stable. And it's not antifreeze. Propylene glycol and ethylene glycol are not the same, even though both are used in antifreeze. Propylene glycol is generally considered less toxic and is often used in food, pharmaceutical, and cosmetic products where ethylene glycol is not suitable due to its toxicity. And no, coal tar is not in the vitamin K injection. Baby's low vitamin K isn't a protective design. It's a vulnerability that left babies bleeding before we had the shot. And the cancer claim? A small study in the 1990s raised concerns, but bigger, better studies, including one following over 54,000 children, found no link between the vitamin K shot and childhood leukemia. Nature sometimes hands us problems, and modern medicine hands us solutions. The bottom line, the vitamin K shot gives your baby real vitamin K1, has no coal tar, and no vitamin K3, which is menadione, prevents a condition that used to harm babies, has been standard of care since 1961, has no proven link to cancer or death. It didn't fix a rare problem. It prevented a deadly one.